Oh my gosh. New moon in Pisces. Ha. Huh. Oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be so great. I just want to remind you that we have both Saturn and Neptune currently in Pisces. So Sun, Moon, Saturn, and Neptune are all in Pisces. And the Sun and the Moon are sandwiched right in between Saturn and Neptune, which are completely two different ends of the spectrum. I mean, we have Saturn that is just like, discipline, order, you know, like, let's make plans, let's be productive, let's, mm, you know, <laughs> and then we have Neptune, which is like dreamy and creative and artistic and illusions and just, you know, it, it it's two very different vibes. With the sun and the moon sandwiched right in between them, this is going to be interesting. This is truly going to be interesting because they're all vibing together really well. They are. So the new moon in Pisces hits its peak on um, March 10th at 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, we also have the uh, daylight savings time that happens the same day. So if you hear that it's at 4 a.m., you're not wrong. They're not wrong. It's at 4 a.m. if you've already switched your clocks. It's at 5 a.m. if you haven't. That's all I'm saying. So, um, new moon in Pisces energy with Saturn and Neptune. I really feel like this is incredible because um, we have a couple of other things going on as well, of course. But this definitely is adding together serious and illusion. And what we're coming out with is incorporating discipline and productivity into our artistic and creative sides that we really do need to express. Like it's important for us to express that because the more that we use our imagination, really the closer we are to our intuition, 100%. So what we have here is a time to make real plans for a dream or a goal, you know, because dreams can be real or they can become real if you work and plan at it and use the discipline that Saturn is encouraging here, right? It's, it's good. It really is. Now, here's a little kicker, all right? We've got Mars square Uranus. Mars is also like really, really close to Venus. So they're sort of playing nicely together, all right? But Mars is square Uranus, which is in Taurus. Um, this can make you feel like inadequate. It can make you feel doubtful about yourself, maybe a little insecure. But, but this is a fantastic time for you to push through all of the insecurities and the doubt that's like bubbling to the surface and saying, okay, okay. I am going to find some confidence here. I'm going to learn how to do this thing. I'm going to learn how to like make my dreams come true. I'm going to work at it until I get it. This is a great time to find some confidence, to find some determination, some drive, to break through that wall of insecurity, that wall of doubt, and just say, I'm in. I'm in. I know. I think this is going to be just awesome. It's going to be marvelous. Can't wait. Can't wait. So let's see what the cards have for your individual zodiac sign for this lovely, lovely new moon in Pisces. Here we are, Scorpio. It's your turn. <laughs> I know you've just been waiting for it here. I just know it. Are you ready, Scorpio? <clears throat> well, if you're not, get ready, because here it is. All right, Scorpio, this is a general reading, so if it resonates with you, that's great, and if it doesn't, that's okay. Make sure you check out your sun, moon, and rising sign, because this is a card reading, not a horoscope. And if you are following your horoscope, follow your rising sign. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I've got mouse, mercury, and Jasmine here with me today. <clears throat> it's funny. An animal, a planet, and a flower. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm so goofy, really. All right, Scorpio, let's see what these cards have 
for you what we're going to be seeing for you coming out of this full full moon this new moon in pisces mm -hmm. it's interesting because this is water sign energy that's you i mean overall i think pisces is the more of the extroverted um like emotionally extroverted water sign you're not but you are still in fact a water sign so let's see what like what's shaking out that maybe maybe could be a pivotal thing for you Ooh, yeah i know <clears throat> And I do feel like it's pivotal energy here, Scorpio. I, I truly feel like you've been through it. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. I truly feel like you've had some, some major energy overhauls. And the thing is, it's time for you to have main character energy about yourself. You know, everybody should be the main character in their story, in their movies, you know, in their life movie. Yeah. Okay. Let me tell you why I'm thinking, okay. Um, we're starting and ending this spread with a nine. Um, so that is change. It's, it's change, it's transitional period. Um, but from what I'm seeing, I think it's great. I think it's great. Uh, so we're looking at the nine of acorns to kick it off with power and perseverance. Then we are going to the star, which is peace and healing. Oh, yeah. Then we are going to the king of acorns, which is optimism and innovation. And on to the traveler, which is adventure and potential. And last but certainly not least of this, this uh, particular layout is the nine of crystals, which is security and abundance. Okay. I'm not saying to go out and buy a lottery ticket here, Scorpio. But I'm saying you might want to buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so funny. Okay, the reason why I'm saying that is because the, the first card that we get, the Nine of Acorns, Power and Perseverance, is all about not giving up. You've made it this far, uh, Scorpio. <clears throat> I don't care if you're 15, 50, or 72. Get in there. You've made it this far. You're doing a great job. Everybody makes mistakes. <clears throat> I've made more than your average person of mistakes. Oh my gosh. You want to like see a history of fuck ups? Look at my history. But that's okay. That's okay. Because every day I get an opportunity to say, I'm sorry. I messed up. Let me try again. I'm sorry. I messed that job, relationship, hobby, whatever. I messed it up and I'm going to try again. I'm not giving up and you shouldn't either Scorpio because you are awesome and your waters run deep. Whatever you can say about a Scorpio, people have no idea. <clears throat> they have no idea what is beneath the surface. Your waters run deep. Don't give up. Don't give up. Keep pushing. Keep going. Now, I say that because here we have the star card, and the star card is all about a fresh start. It's all about a new beginning, and it's a very optimistic new beginning. <clears throat> I also want to point out that you cannot have a new beginning unless you have endings. That's what I tell everybody that is going through a nine month in their numerology. You can't have a new beginning without an ending. You have to have that like transitional period. And this is the time for you. A new beginning is here. A new beginning is here. And it's an optimistic new beginning. It's a wonderful, like a fresh start. The swan is 
swimming in the pool of consciousness. It's coming into you. It is literally coming into your consciousness of what you need to do and how you need to hang on and giving you the strength of perseverance. It really is. <clears throat> the king of acorns, again, optimism and innovation. This is a very optimistic reading for you. This is a very optimistic time. And the thing is about the, the king of acorns is that he is a hard working energy. The king of acorns is all about communication, all about um, like it, it's ambitious. Yes, there's a lot of ambition here, but it's not ambition without work. This is a hard working energy. This is the leader, the boss, but they're not afraid to get in the muck. You are doing that here, Scorpio. <coughs> Hello, Mercury. You are definitely doing that as my cat is just going to put her tail right here. So you're, you're working towards a goal. You're very ambitious. You're really just uh, like striking while the iron is hot. And I think that this is a wonderful time for you to get motivated to clean out your closet or <clears throat> start a new business or apply for that job that you didn't think was possible. I'm so sorry. Hang on just a second. Okay, I just really had to clear my throat. All right, because I don't want to interrupt this reading. This is really great. So this is a fantastic time for you to just get out there and just do it. Just work towards what you want. But this is, this is something that I want to really bring in is the next card is the Traveler, which in the traditional tarot is the Fool card. This is taking a leap of faith. This is taking a leap of faith. It's taking a chance. It's trusting in the process. You have to, you have to trust in the process. You have to trust in your abilities. You have to take a leap of faith. So whatever it is that you're wanting, starting a business, building a business, um, <clears throat> looking for investors, um, applying for different jobs that are maybe a little outside of your comfort zone. This is your time. It truly is. Think about this. Push through any doubt that you're feeling for yourself. And I want to tell you too, in numerology, nine is the shadow side of a nine is all about fear of change and fighting change. And the best thing that you can do is to have the courage to move forward, to take that next step into a new beginning. And I'm telling you because here we have the nine of crystals and the nine of crystals is um, security and abundance. The nine of crystals is about really being able just to walk through the happiness hallway and just gather as much joy and happiness as you want. It's literally bringing in, all, you're harvesting out everything that you've been wanting, everything that you've been looking for. It's an abundance. It truly is. And with the nine of crystals, <clears throat> there's a lot of things that can make you happy here to bring you in an abundance. It could be an abundance of um, abundance of family. It could be an abundance of money. It could be an abundance of um, knowledge. Maybe you're learning something in a class. Whatever this is that you don't need to be afraid to take that leap of faith, you're going to get it. You're going to get the knowledge. You're going to get the job. You're going to get the house. It may not be the exact thing that you thought it was going to be. It may not be the job that you thought it was going to be or the company to work for. But the great thing is, it's a wonderful position. <clears throat> Once you get in there, you're just like, oh my gosh, this is fantastic. I, I'm so glad I didn't get the other thing. It kind of works like that. Very exciting. I know. So, all right, let's see what else we got here. <coughs> I'm so sorry that I'm coughing and clearing my throat in your ear, Scorpio. I'll try to edit out as much as I can. We'll see, right? Let 
these cats keep pulling down my um, blackout shades. Drives me crazy. Because when I have a lot of sun coming in from the window, it affects this. <laughs> <coughs> Hello. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. <clears throat> okay. All right, so we're starting off here with the Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> then we're going to the Page of Cups. The Nine of Cups. The Fool card on top of the Traveler, which is the Fool card in this deck. And then I pulled two cards because I don't think this is a bad card, the Five of Wands, but I needed to pull something on top of it, and that's the Seven of Wands. So what we got here, Scorpio, is <clears throat> messengers. So pages, all pages are messengers. This page is a, a the Page of Pentacles is a messenger about um, applying what you've learn, learned into uh, a job or a project or a task um, or even a relationship, but applying what you've learned, um, staying focused and uh, work ethic. You've been learning something, you've been studying something and you may have been studying it for a month or 10 years, I don't know. But whatever it is, it's time to apply what you've learned. What have you learned? Have you learned how to be resilient? Do that. <clears throat> but this is a time to apply what you've learned. The Page of Cups is a message to align your vibration with what it is that you're trying to bring in. You need to align yourself so that you're together with the energy that you're trying to bring in. So that it's, it's one instead of broken apart. You're not looking up and wishing. You're aligning yourself with the vibration of this is what I want. This is what I want to do. Once you align yourself with that vibration, once you get into that, you're going to be able to attract what you want. And the Nine of Cups of <clears throat> is energy saying, oh yeah, you're going to get exactly what you want. Everything is coming into you that you've been, that you've had a desire for. Look at this. She's discovered a treasure chest, and now she's celebrating. All she has to do is rise to the surface. She's got the, she's got the loot. She's discovered that treasure chest of everything that she's been looking for, and now all she has to do is rise to the surface. Uh-huh. The full card again. Again, it's like the Traveler. Adventure and Potential. See the potential. See the adventure in taking a leap of faith. See the adventure in taking a chance and trusting in the process. And trusting your skills. And trusting that you're applying what you learn in the right direction. In the right place. The Five of Wands is, uh, has several meanings. Most of these cards do have several meanings, to be honest with you. But this could be you're like causing a lot of hassles in your life by fighting off negative thoughts. You know those negative thoughts that are just like, you can't do it. You can't do it. Do you deserve this? Do you, you know, you've messed up a lot. Do you deserve this? Mm -mm. Bring it back. Bring it back. Because honestly, you do deserve it. You do deserve it. This is also a card of taking a risk. Look at them. <clears throat> They're kids, they're having fun, but they're working together, they're taking a risk, they're climbing up to reach their goal. Take a risk. Shut down those negative thoughts and take a risk because you are completely supported. Spirit is supporting this. They are, look at this. Her solar plexus chakra is being highlighted here and you know that is my favorite chakra. You can have a favorite chakra you choose yours this uh, you can choose mine i'll share it with you but um you choose what is your favorite chakra but they are highlighting her solar plexus chakra and her crown chakra do you see that spirit is coming directly into her crown and 
lightening up her solar plexus chakra. How freaking awesome is that? Solar plexus chakra is all about, um, oh, excuse me, solar plexus chakra is all about intuition, personal power, and inner strength. That is you, Scorpio. So what are you going to do with it? Take a leap of faith. Mm -mm -mm. I love it. Woo. Cardamom. <clears throat> I, I seriously, I've had to take a lot of breaks today with my voice, with my throat, and um, I am uh, drinking tea. <sighs> it's been a little crazy. Ganesh such a beautiful card and you know this is an eight year <clears throat> it's an abundant year year of the dragon it's a 44 eight year Ooh, the lion. Mm. Okay, glasses. All right, the first of the advice cards is uh, the lion. Power of self and leadership. <clears throat> like the king of acorns. Lion has learned to balance its immense power through practice. It knows that the use of gentleness requires great strength and power, but it won't hesitate to leap at opportunities or defend itself when needed. It takes responsibility for keeping peace by knowing the truth and living by it. Wow. All right, the next of the advice cards is Lord Ganesh, Infinite Abundance. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. I'm loving this for you. All right. <clears throat> the next of the advice cards is cardamom. The emotional aspects of cardamom. It releases blaming, lack of control, and deep frustration. It instills patience, self-control, and acceptance of what is. It creates a sense of acceptance and accountability. It creates a calming effect and the ability to bring balance to body and mind. The centering thought, I take my own accountability. I know who I am and I accept the challenges life brings me as lessons for growth and learning. And the affirmation, why is it so easy for me to take my own accountability? And the chakras are the root the solar plexus and the sacral. Well, wow, so we've got a lot of solar plexus energy coming in for you right now. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So <clears throat> this is definitely a time for you to take a leap of faith. This is definitely a time for you to just jump on board and just say, okay, I'm trusting in the process. I'm going to follow my path. This is great. I love it. 
Thank you so much for joining me today, Scorpio. I sure do appreciate your support on my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you feel led to because I have noticed that about 85% of the people that watch my channel are not subscribers and I do appreciate you. So continue watching if you don't want to make an account and subscribe. But um, if you feel the need or if you feel led to, please hit the subscribe button. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful new moon in Pisces. And until we see each other again, get out there and make your magic. Bye.